Hey, what's up? I'm Liz and this is Blitzy DIY. I've got a quick walkthrough video for you today for the Raspberry Pi. On Thursday, August 17th, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced that a distro upgrade for Raspbian was available, Raspbian Stretch. This is based on Debian Stretch, the newest version of Debian Linux. I definitely wanted to upgrade Raspbian as soon as possible. There are also some cool new software features included for Scratch and Sonic Pi, but most importantly, it patches the Wi-Fi vulnerability called Broadpone, which was discovered in the wireless chipsets used in the Raspberry Pi 3 and 0W boards. So for no other reason, it's worth an upgrade for that. Raspberry Pi Foundation advises that you back up your SD card that contains your Jesse install, and they don't guarantee success in doing an upgrade versus a clean install of Stretch. I wanted to try doing an upgrade from Jesse, though, following their instructions to see if I'd be successful. Of course, similar to the disclaimer from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, there are an infinite number of factors that are at play in determining a successful versus unsuccessful upgrade. So I also want to say, I can't guarantee that you'll have the same results as me, but it will at least give you a real-world example of the process. So to get started, boot into Raspbian Jesse on your Pi. First thing you'll need to do is edit some files that contain source information, basically telling the Pi where to grab apt update and upgrade info from. Edit them by using sudo nano in the terminal. So the first command is going to be sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. This opens up the file that you can edit. You can't use the mouse to navigate, so use the arrow keys to replace every instance of Jesse with stretch. Hit Control X to exit, and then hit Y to save, and then enter. Follow these steps again for the next file. In the terminal, type sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list slash d slash raspy dot list. Replace all the Jesse instances with stretch and then save. That's all the prep you'll need to do. Next up begins the upgrade, which does take a fairly long time, a little more than an hour, which is to be expected since it's a full operating system upgrade. If you've got the time and are feeling confident, begin by typing into the terminal sudo apt-get update. Let that run. When it finishes, type sudo apt-get-y dist dash upgrade. Hit enter and your upgrade has begun. You'll be prompted to hit Y for yes a few times to continue, so unfortunately you can't really let it run by itself. Also of note and very important since it bamboozled me deeply, there is a box of text kind of like an FAQ that pops up that is incredibly long. I missed the fine print, well, not really the fine print, I just didn't read to the bottom of the Pi Foundation's guide, stating that you hit the space bar to get to the bottom and then press Q to quit. This allows the install to continue. The first time it came up, I thought the install was done, closed out the text box, did a reboot, I got back into Raspbian, it was still on Jesse. I was able to get back into the upgrade process, basically where I had left off with the FAQ box by putting in the upgrade command again, but just something to keep in mind. After that little mishap, it was smooth sailing. After the upgrade completes, do a pseudo reboot, which should reboot the Pi and bring you into Raspbian Stretch. And that's it. That's the upgrade to Raspbian Stretch. Fairly painless, and I personally didn't have any issues doing a direct upgrade from Jesse, but your mileage may vary. That's all for this video, though. If you liked it, toss me a like, leave any questions or comments down below. Will you be upgrading to Stretch right away, or do you want to wait a bit? Find me on social media, links are down in the description. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this. Until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.